Monday morning, July the 15th, 2024. About 6.19 a.m. Breaking news from Triple R, Raymond Research and Recovery, MIA, Muslim in Action, CIA, Christian in Action in the Underground Railroad. Breaking news that Fox 23 ain't going to tell you. Uh, KFES 12 ain't going to tell you. Robert Hearns, the chief of police here in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County, also the Grand Wizard uh, of the Ku Klux Klan ain't going to tell you. But I'm going to tell you, uh, two monsters, that what a judge called a young brother uh, a couple of days ago, about a week, almost a week ago, a monster because he was charged and convicted. That don't mean a black person is is guilty here in, in, in Southeast Missouri. Matter of fact, in a lot of states. Uh, because it's an unjust system. The judge said a young brother was convicted of a jury of his peers. It was only one black person on there. The brother couldn't have been no more but in his late 30s or early 40s. And the average person on the jury uh, was in their 50s, 60s. Uh, or maybe older, and, and uh, 11 of them was white. So how is that the uh, uh, a jury of your peers? But I can go on and on because I've been through their system twice here too on misdemeanors. But anyway, I want the world to know, I want especially Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County to know that Melissa Walker and James O'Connor, who Robert Hearns and most of the law enforcement officials, not all of them, most of the law enforcement officials in some of the city hall uh, been harboring these individuals uh, that they claim was homeless. They homeless because they want to. People offered them homes. The housing authority offered them apartments, but they didn't want to get rid of their dogs. Both of them convicted felons. I want y'all to know it's two white monsters that's off the streets as of 11 o'clock last night on July the, uh, 14, 2024. You see, Triple R was notified they was right back up here where they was barred out of. This is A.D. Simpson Park. On the other side of that, them uh, trees and that fence is uh, this part. It's the city's property and the part is Robert, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Rodney Jones property. Rodney Jones ain't filed no trespass in damn, damn time against. Rodney Jones is a so-called black individual. He put, he put trespassing and uh, 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 charges on them people damn, damn time. But the city got them out of there, not because they wanted to. They got them out of there because Triple R kept on making them see. They let the people see what type of individuals they are. They let two monsters run these streets for about almost two years with multiple dogs, multiple violations. On six-year probation, uh, James O'Connor, both of them was on probation. Melissa Walker was convicted in Arkansas for setting her husband on fire. But yet they're going to say she got a mental problem. When she was in the penitentiary, she didn't have no mental problem. When she got out, her mental problem let her know she got to leave the state of Arkansas, come down here to Charleston, Missouri, where they have the Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard, uh, the chief of police, and uh, the sheriff here in Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County, Brenton Farrow and Robert Hearns. But uh, James O'Connor convicted of manslaughter. Then last year, knocked a guy out with a two by four. Threatened me on May the 17th, 2024. Said he got a contract on my head. The city manager and some other people talking about they got mental problems. He ain't got no mental problem. If he came up on me, he won't have no more problems. You see what I'm saying? If y'all don't take care of it, I will protect myself. But I just want the breaking news to know they locked their ass up last night. Some police sick and tired of them. You see what I'm saying? They was locked up last night. Triple R kept on hunting them down, flushed them out. You see what I'm saying? Flushed them out. I don't care if they is in that wooded area. You name it, Triple R going to claim it. <laughs> Robert Hearns, I know you don't like it. Ha, 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 ha. Tabitha Thurman, I know you don't like it. Ha, 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 ha. 
But I tell y'all, y'all send some more of these old guys at me or, or females at me to try to do something to me. Boy, look at them. The funeral home is going to be full because I'm going to protect myself. I ain't going to dial 911 because I know y'all ain't going to do a damn thing about it. But when them funeral homes get over flooded when you send them at me, I'm going to protect myself. You tell the judge that. You tell everybody else. You see people getting sick and tired. You see what that 20-year-old did to Donald Trump here? He tired of y'all racist white folks and you sell out blacks if the shoe fit well. Don't like it. Don't watch it. Today is July the 15th, 2024. The time is 6.21 a.m. I greet all human beings all around the world. What a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you are my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. Uh, I still greet you with that same universal greetings. Uh, if you don't like me, you that's your prerogative. You have a First Amendment to the United States Constitution. That's the freedom of press, freedom of speech, freedom to protest, freedom to gather, and freedom to associate, as long as you do all of that in a peaceful manner. And I always give people a head up and a warning. Warning come before destruction. That's what the Bible tells us. Uh, if you're on probation or parole, it all depends who you is, because sometimes the system let you go because of the color of your skin, if the shoe fit wet, and then because, uh, you know, when you one of these, what we call house Negroes. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you're on probation or parole, you want to contact your local law enforcement officials or your parole, parole and probation officer to see if it's okay for you to gather together with somebody else on parole. What I want to talk about now, two convicted violent felons, repeated offenders here in Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County. Now, I'm one that sympathizes with people that's homeless and in need. This particular female and the guy that I'm going to show you, her companion, they homeless, but they homeless by choice. Robert Hearns, the chief slash director of the Charles Missouri Police Department, also the Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan, and uh, the city attorney, Tabitha Thurman Brown, has been working hand in hand with the judge, Robert Barker, to try to keep these people on the streets no matter how much they violated. The last time they went to court, July the 10th, they didn't show up. This ain't the first time Melissa didn't show up or James. And I heard the judge, the judge Robert Barker, and the city attorney, Tabitha Thurman Brown, when they sent them, uh, uh, issue warrants out saying that they're going to violate their probation, I heard them say, well, it's more than just the dogs as if they got mental problems. That's what the city manager told me. They got mental problems. I said, yeah, they got, if they do have mental problems, they still convicted felons. That'll make them more dangerous. If they got mental problems and the other guy that I'm, the guy I'm finna show you threatened me, said he got a contract on my life. Why in the hell you still got him out on the streets? But Melissa, it took triple R again. The judge issued a warrant, and then the next day on July the 10th, he issued a warrant with $200 cash bonds only for Melissa and James O'Connor. I'm finna give you that to show you him in a minute. But listen here. The next day, when Triple R checked it on CaseNet, they had only had Melissa in there, but they didn't have no warrant. They had a summons for her to come back August the 14th. Ain't that something? White privilege. But... You can't blame all the Charles, Missouri Police Department because some of them are sick and tired of them, too. But this is Malika, Melissa Walker. Triple R uh, got information yesterday about six or seven o'clock uh, that they was hiding out again. 
right on the same property that the city took them off on, Rodney Jones property in the city property. I'm going a, I'm to a, a show you the area a little later. Uh, and they had the pit bull and three puppies. But she back in custody now. James O'Connor, a convicted murderer, manslaughter. Just last year, not talking about the manslaughter now, just last year, he was arrested for knocking out a guy with a two by four. He threatened me on May the 17th, 2024. I got it documented, videoed, hearing it come out of his mouth. Police talked to him. He lied, said he didn't do it. Then the police told him, I got it. I seen it on video. He said, oh, I did it, but I was angry. The guy that shot Ronald Reagan's ear off, I don't know if he shot it off or not. He could have shot him in both ears. I wouldn't give a damn. But anyway, uh, if he if he stayed alive, he couldn't say I shot his ear because I was angry. And I know some of y'all don't like what I'm saying, but you know, it's black folks like me and white folks in this country and brown folks in this country is sick and tired of this racism, this Adolf Hitler mentality. This man, James uh, O'Connor and Melissa Walker should have been off the streets a long time ago. It's a black female that lived down the street from me. Uh, 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 she, we know she got mental issues. But every time she get caught in the dollar store stealing a dollar's worth of stuff, y'all put her right in jail. You put her right in jail, knowing that she got mental issues. What's the difference than her, than James O'Connor and Melissa Walker? I'm going to tell you what, because they white, and y'all been having this dictator, Robert Hearns. You see, like men, you seen that picture that I had with him with Santa had his legs wide open sitting on Santa Claus lap with an assault rifle and Santa Claus was telling him, get up. I don't mess with men. But Robert Hearns told him, if you move Santa Claus, I'm going to take your leg off. Keep that knee up in me. I know some of y'all don't like that, but I don't give a damn. You know, black folks is tired. I, you, I mean, would you? What would y'all do if if it was reverse? What would you do when I say y'all? I'm talking about you, racist white cowards. You see what I'm saying? I sat up here and seen a white judge in a family call a black guy that killed the white guy in East Ferrari called him a coward and a monster. These people are monsters. Melissa Walker, let's go back to her for a minute. Let me show you what she did. Melissa Walker, Robert Barker, uh, Tabitha Thurman Brown, Robert Hearns, uh, Mark Higgins, and the rest of you racist white Ku Klux Klans. Melissa Walker in Arkansas set her husband on fire and went to jail. She wasn't mentally dead. When she had a warrant out for her, she wasn't mentally enough uh, to uh, go hide somewhere. She's a violent felon. These people don't like me. People done told me, let's go back to James Conner. People done told me this man had a gun saying he was going to kill me. You see what I'm saying? But if he'd have got close enough Y'all would have just had to take him off your thing because I would have eliminated him by any means necessary. I know he's my enemy. I know Robert Hearns, all these white individuals, if the shoe fit wet, running around with these badges. Y'all don't like me, but y'all cowards. All you got to do is march on this property where it said no, pro no trespassing and come without a warrant. And I guarantee you, <laughs> I'll leave that to your imagination. I know y'all plotting to kill me, but one thing about the Bible, it said no weapon formed against me would prosper. God said he's going to make my enemy my footstool. Ask Darren Cain, he in the damn cemetery. Ask the judge that, that prosecuted me illegally with Lester. He off the bench. Ask some of these other cowards, black and white, that attacked me. They're in the cemetery or in the penitentiary. Ask one of the judges that got a massive heart attack. Y'all don't like what I'm saying. I don't give a damn. I'm tired of y'all racist ass.
Yeah, you too, ma'am. For real, I wasn't, that was a stupid act, right. and I don't even do that. Right. I had them before, back in the day. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, you, you in my head, I ain't, I wasn't You was almost being healed the other day, one day, so. about the uh, report of uh, on May the 17th, uh, 2024, that uh, Officer Higgins wrote concerning uh, Jamie uh, O'Connor threatening me. I know you, uh, you, you, you signed on that, and then they said they couldn't find him in 28 days, me and somebody found him. And then uh, Higgins talked to him, and I see that you closed the case. Can I ask why did you, did they, do you want to sign a complaint? No, I'm asking you why did you close the case? I'd have to go back and review it. I don't recall okay. off the top of my head. Yeah, he, 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 he just, he had found them. Well, we found them yeah. in Higgins. And then I looked on the thing, and Higgins asked him a question, and he lied and said that he didn't make the threat. Okay. Right. So, no, I, I just want to know no, why, I mean, why was it, why was it closed. I, I just, every time it's, it's to be on YouTube. I no, just, I'm just saying, I want to know why it's closed. I just left out the police station here uh, asking Robert Hearns why would he sign off on a report when uh, Jamie Connor threatened me. And did you hear him say he don't know? I'm going to go back to the uh, house and let y'all see the report. But I made a report. I'm going to talk to you in a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, look how dark it just got. Oh my God, look at it. Oh my gosh. Let me put my glasses on. I can't even see. It's my type of work, y'all. Saving lives. 